video is designed to take you through the basics of accounting in Grade 7 EMS. It can be used in conjunction with the video using the Monopoly game, which you may already have watched. This is just a summary of the basics. Hopefully by now you understand that your assets are the things that you own. In other words, this could be things like your property or vehicles or the cash that you have in your business that you can use to buy stock, etc. So all of these assets are things that you've got control over and will use in your business to try and generate an income of some kind. On the other hand, you would also have liabilities, which is where you owe money to somebody else. For example, if you've taken out a bank loan, or maybe you've bought stock on credit and you owe your suppliers. So liabilities is when you owe money to somebody else. The other concept that you need to understand is the concept of capital. Capital is something that you might find a little bit difficult to grasp at this stage, but just remember that all this means is it's the owner putting money into the business in order to buy the assets in conjunction with borrowing money from the bank to be able to pay for the things that you need. So capital quite simply is just the owner's investment in the business. So this is what these three concepts mean. But interestingly, there is actually a relationship between them. If you have to take your assets and you look at all the things that you've got and you want to work out but how much did the owner actually put into the business initially or maybe what is his investment worth now? In other words, we want to work out his net worth. All you have to do is just say all of the assets that you've got added together minus all the liabilities will then equal the net worth um, of the owner and of the business. Remember that I said to you that the assets are going to be used to generate an income. You will also need to compare this income to the expenses in your business. So you can say minus all of the expenses. And that will then give you something called a profit or a loss hopefully you don't make a loss if you make a loss it means that you're actually losing money and that is not what you're trying to do okay so here we have sorry about the handwriting here um, our income less all of our expenses creates the profit the profit then also belongs to the owner so that means that over time what will happen is if you take the initial capital and you add the profit or the effects of all the incomes and the expenses, you will actually also be able to work out the net worth. So that's another way of working net worth out. The last thing I want to just highlight for you on this board um, is within your expenses, you might have discussed things such as whether expenses are fixed or if they are variable. Now, this is actually a very simple difference to be able to understand. What does the word variable actually mean? Variable means it changes. So those ones are going to change over time. That's just a mathematical sign for change, which you may or may not have encountered as yet. But the variable expenses are going to change over time, whereas fixed expenses will stay exactly the same. So fixed expenses would be things like your rent, whereas a variable expense might be your telephone account that will be different every single month. Hopefully you now understand these concepts a little better. Thank you.